Hey guys, this is Caspi with Tape, and today you join me for a very requested video, the mod list for Caspi Road to Exploration. I'm a little late on this, I'm sorry about that, I just uh, never seem to get around to making these mod lists. But anyway, let's get right into it. So, I'm just going to read them in no particular, well, the particular order that they're in the folder next to me. So, yeah, the first uh, mod I use is Distant Object Enhancement. That is the mod that, it's a very small mod, but it means you can see things uh, far far away in orbit, so you can see, you can be sitting in a curb in orbit and you'll see like a little glint and you're like, oh that's Duna, and I've actually, I forgot to mention it in the video, but I have actually had situations in Minmus where I can actually see satellites about 100 kilometers away, just glinting, it's a really nice mod, so yeah. Anyway, the next thing I use is Kerbal Inventory System. Kerbal Inventory System is this weird little mod that allows your Kerbals to carry small things like mallets and um, spanners. I think they're used for fixing things. I've never actually gotten far enough to actually use it, but it's pretty cool. It just allows your Kerbals to carry little things and use them. I think you can also carry scientific things. And you can take off the helmets in uh, atmospheric planets. Uh, yeah. Next thing is Kerbal Alarm Clock. Very useful mod. I use it for... Well, I use it all the time. It allows you to um, basically lay down alarms for things you need to not forget, um, which includes uh, transfer windows to other planets, so that's why I'm always very on point with my transfer windows, because there's an alarm telling me that's not me trying. That's just a very useful mod. Uh, the next one is Kerbal Attachment System. We haven't seen much of this yet, but it is very useful. Uh, I mostly like it because it allows you to lay down fuel pipes, um, uh, which means you can connect two spacecraft on the ground and refuel, or put, move fuel between them without the really annoying kind of having to dock on the ground and stuff. That's really useful. It also allows like things like winches and just a bunch of cool stuff. Um, I'm also using MechJeb. Oh, you, you know that I'm using MechJeb. I'm constantly using MechJeb. It gives you orbital information. I mostly use it for the just the information windows, um, the orbit info, surface info, Delta V info, very useful for planning missions, um, like quite precisely, that's why I usually have about the right amount of fuel, <laughs> sometimes. And it also uh, provides with you with a bunch of cool tools, like ascent guidance, which doesn't actually work anymore because atmosphere. Um, landing guidance, it'll just land your ship for you, which I don't really like those, but they're, they, they can be useful, I just kind of like the challenge. And also Translatron, which I use for kind of actually helping me land, because you just type in numbers and stuff. It's a really awesome mod, and you should definitely have it. I also use Planetary Base Incorporated. I think that's the name of the mod, it's sort of hard to tell, because um, it's just in folders right now, so I am having to sort of remember. But Planetary Bases just, just gives me lots of cool parts, like these Parts that actually look like they should be bases, and I know you haven't seen much of that yet either, but you probably will be soon. Uh, stay tuned. Um, that's a really useful mod uh, for just just it works well, a cool mod, and I think it allows you to generate food for like tech life support, so it is a useful mod. Uh, I also use Raster Prop. You probably haven't seen this unless you're looking very closely, but Raster Prop is well, its full name is Raster Prop Monitor. It changes the uh, UI inside a spacecraft to have like a bunch of screens rather than a bunch of dials, and you can like pick camera views and uh, put up your nav ball, advanced nav balls, um, things that help you dock. It basically makes it look more like a real spacecraft, and it is really awesome. Uh, I also use remote tech. Yes, the infamous remote tech, which is why I actually I don't think I ever lost a satellite based on remote tech, except the one I sent to the sun. But that is the communications. Uh, that is the communications mod. That means I have to keep putting up communications satellites. It adds some difficulty to the game, and it's something I'm not particularly good at yet. So I do very much like doing that sort of thing. And it also adds almost cost and uh, to your space uh, to your space program, and also an, a reason to keep satellites in orbit, which I think is really good. Um, I also use RLA, which is, what is it, it's called um, RLA Stock Alike. That is basically a stock extension mod that gives me lots of cool things like some tiny little aero spikes, um, some like thinner boosters, um, arc jet thrusters, which are almost like ion engines but slightly different. A bunch of, nothing too major, uh, but mostly just cool stuff you can use in space more than anything else. Um, and some cool solid rocket boosters. It is really useful. Uh, the next mod I use is Scatterer, my favorite mod ever. 
it just makes the, it's the mod that makes the oceans look like oceans it's the one that makes the atmospheres look amazing it's the one that makes Duna and if I've put that video up yet uh, <laughs> it makes Duna look freaking beautiful it makes anything with an atmosphere look amazing it makes the sun look right in the atmosphere it is a glorious mod and you must get it um, and tack life support tack life support is the reason I can't go to Duna right now because well with Kerbals because you need life support to keep your Kerbals alive, and that's why I have to do so much station keeping, because, um, well, if you leave your Kerbals too long, they will run out of oxygen and food and water, and they will die. So we could find ourselves in a real Martian situation, and it'll probably be um, long like the book, and uh, detailed like the book, but probably not so beautiful as the movie, more just me driving for a very long time without lots of cool panning shots. That was a pretty movie. Anyway, <laughs> we're getting away from ourselves. And the other one, which isn't in the folder, but is Extraplanetary Launch Pads. Very cool mod. It allows you to build stuff on other planets by mining slash shipping ore out there. And you can build craft. You can build... You can put down, like, launch pads or I think just, like, these pegs to indicate where you want your spacecraft to be built. You can have all the processing units on the surface of another planet or in orbit, and you can build spacecraft. You could make yourself a self-sustaining civilization on Duna. And yes, that is all of the mods. The links are in the description. I hope it's been relatively informative. Um, yeah, this has been Chaos with Tape. I will see you next time.